What's going on YouTube fam? Mikey here shooting another high adventure video. Well, I'm gonna try to shoot a high adventure. I've been driving through the mountains trying to get to a mountain reservoir and we've come to a complete stop. Let me get out and show you guys here. I've been here for about 10 minutes. You can see down there, there's a road closure sign and apparently they're doing some blasting. So, anywho, really not much I could do right now. So, I'll keep you guys updated. Hopefully we'll get to the reservoir sometime today and uh, we'll get fishing, but check back later. Okay gang, quick status update. Apparently the blasting lasts until two o'clock. It is 12.30. So we have an hour and a half to kill. That is a bummer. Anywho, I guess I'll just update you guys when we finally make it to camp. See you in an hour and a half. All right, we are back on the road heading to the reservoir. Finally, hallelujah. Yeah, they got a lot of work going on through here. It's a one lane road, blasting all that out as you can see. The lady at the diner said uh, they're gonna be blasting it back 60 feet. So quite the project as you guys can see, but it's supposed to span three years. So it's gonna be three years of traffic on this little road. That's the only way up to this reservoir. So that's gonna be fun. All right, guys, we made it. We are here at our campsite. So I drove the campsite and there's only one other person here. And there were probably like 50 spots, so. So we almost have the entire place to ourselves, minus one camper. So this is our view for the next two days. Looks pretty gorgeous. Water looks fantastic. You can see the water's really low, actually. It's down probably about five, six feet, maybe a little more than that. We're gonna go ahead and get our tent set up in the back of our truck. And I think we're just going to get down there and get fishing. See if we can score some perch for supper uh, before it gets too dark. All right. The tent is set up or what I like to call the outdoor suite. This is actually really nice. I feel like I've definitely upgraded my tent game. If you guys want one of these, I have a link in the description below if you wanna check it out. I've also got the kayak loaded up, got it on its wheel base there. So we're gonna go ahead and wheel him down to the reservoir, get started fishing. We've still got a couple hours left before that sun goes down behind the mountains behind me. Really for me, the goal is to get some real fatty perch because the state record was actually caught out of here. I'm hoping that's gonna be enough wood for the next 48 hours. Looking at it now, I'm not so sure, but we'll just cross our fingers. Might go hungry, I don't know. There's no going back at this point, so it is what it is. All right. There we go. We got a jacket with me. It's cool right now. It's gonna get even chillier as the evening progresses. Shove off. Nice. Yeah, that water is really clear really 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 clear a lot of sandbars on this side of the reservoir so i'm going to be relying pretty heavily on my depth finder to hopefully locate some schools having the pedal drive on this kayak really is going to allow me to move around a lot and uh we should be able to cover a lot of ground if we want okay so i'm starting to see some little piles of stuff on the bottom right there those potentially could be some schools so let's go ahead and get baited up so on my first rod, I'm actually gonna try to fish with two today. I have just a little double jig rig set up. I'm gonna throw two different types of jigs on. With the red head, I've got a little white and red tube. On the top one, we'll switch it up a little bit. I'm gonna go with this little uh, grub, black with red fleck and sartreuse tail. Try that. All right, I think we're finally on the bottom. Now we're gonna stick this in a rod holder. Well, there we go. And grab our next rod, which I have rigged up with a little bit j larger jig head, red. And I am going to throw on this one, where is it? I've got some gulp minnows, smelt. Uh, and I'm hoping to get maybe something a little bit bigger on these bad boys. These are two and a half inch minnows. I'll show you guys. Look at that. Booyah. And I'm hoping maybe we can pop a little bit bigger perch on something like this. There, just like that. 
little larger jig and we're gonna really work that guy and see if we can maybe get a little bit bigger perch on that. Guys, we just got our bite on my bigger jig. Got him. Okay, this might be a bass. If this is a perch, it's a big old perch. No, it's a big perch. Oh, no, 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 it is a big perch. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Holy McNuggets. Where is my net? He just loaded on. I mean, it just he just thumped it. Come here. Oh, this is a piggy perch. This is what we're after. Yes, yeah. Whoa, what a way to start. Look at that fat perch. That is a way to start right on that little jig. Oh man, I'm just sitting here drifting and all of a sudden it just went doom, like that. Just like that. Oh yeah, that's, that's a tubby. That's a tubby. That's what we came up to this mountain reservoir for right there. And if you can believe it, they get even bigger than that. So, <laughs> oh, that's excellent. I've been looking for a school. Um, haven't found one yet. This guy's just a loner. It does seem like sometimes you find those big ones just out by themselves. They're not necessarily in a school. That, that is fantastic. Let's get back down there. Oh, we're getting a bite on this one. Get the bite. Oh, we, we, we got one. We straight up have one on this one. Come on. Yep, we got him. We got him. Oh, no, did he get off? Is he off? Oh, he got off. Guys, we had one on this. We had one on this. This is the double double rig. I was, I, I had just dropped it down. I was trying to put my other jig out. Oh, man. Just straight up missed him. Straight up missed him. Shoot. It's a good sign. We found a little spot in here. Oh, this one's got one. Got him. Got him. We got him. Yep. We got another one. If this is a perch, this is another good perch, guys. Uh, no, this is a trout. This is a trout, guys. Oh, bonus fish. Let's see if we can net him. This is a nice trout, too. He ain't a small fish. Oh, come on. Why am I? Oh, come on. All right, nice and easy. Nice and easy. Oh, shoot. Yeah, no, look at that. Whoa. Guys, that's a big old trout. I bet you that's 15, 16 inches. Well, I know there are trout in here. There are also bass in here. So there are smallmouth, largemouth. Largemouth are pretty rare. A lot of perch. This this reservoir is predominantly known for its perch fishing. Um, and I know there are some trout wandering around in here. I hate the way they flounder around, but look at that. There we go. Wow, slow start. First probably 45 minutes, nothing. All of a sudden, I got something going on down here. I don't know what's on the bottom, but uh, the fish are down there. I just saw fish hit the surface right over here. It's got to be a trout, right? Cast our little minnow over there. There he is. Got him. Oh, guys, guys, guys. Okay, okay. This feels like a big trout. This feels like a big trout. Oh. Oh. This is a nice trout. Oh, my goodness. Why is that not loosening? Thank you. Holy cow. Oh yeah, this is a big trout. Oh, this is a big trout. Oh, I have six pound test line on. Oh boy. Oh boy. Tighten it up a little bit here. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, this is a nice trout. Guys, that was crazy. I saw a little swirl on the surface. I thought that's gotta be a trout, right? And sure enough, just tossed my little, this little jig over there. Let's get the net ready. Come on, baby. And as she just thump. Ooh, I'm working with six pound test line. This is gonna be tough. This is gonna be a tough ask to get this sucker in. Oh man, she is running good. She is running really good. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I don't like this at all. Come on, come on, right now. Let's do this, you and me, you and me. Come on. Oh my goodness, this is a big fat trout. Yes, oh yeah, look at that. Whoa, oh my goodness. Look at this pig, look at this pig. Oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> That is a major bonus fish right there. Whoa. Oh my goodness. Woohoo. She was just cruising around. I saw the swirl, thought, you know what? We got to give it a try. I've got a little, 
if it's swirling on the top, it's got to be feeding on something. It's looking for food. <laughs> Look at that piggy. Look at that piggy. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, no. Piggy, stay in the boat. Stay in the boat, piggy. Oh my gosh. Woo. Look at that. That is incredible. I'll bet that's like a 20 inch trout. I'll bet that's probably about two and a half, three pounds. We'll weigh it up when we get to shore, but that's definitely going on the stringer. Are you kidding me? Oh my word. <laughs> that is magnificent. Oh, what a fight too. Man, guys, this stringer is looking better and better all the time. I came out for perch and I've smashed two trout so far. That's crazy. Look at that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's an excellent stringer right there. Woohoo! Man, guys, what a way to start the day. And I've only been fishing for like maybe an hour and a half. This is a phenomenal way to start the trip. Our sun has gone behind our mountain back there. So we're gonna go ahead and start getting back to camp. We still got some daylight left, but I don't wanna lose it. I'm gonna get some warmer gear thrown on, some fish cleaned up, get a fire going. Let's go get some fresh high mountain reservoir trout cooking over an open fire. All right, guys, back at camp. Look at that. Not a bad way to start the day. Let's see how long this guy is first. And then we're gonna measure, we'll weigh him up. This is 17 inches long. Oh yeah, this guy definitely over 17 right there. There's 17. I'm gonna say he's gonna be right at 20 inches. That's right at a 20 inch trout. Let's take a look at this perch. I wanna see how big this guy is just for a point of reference. So we, oh man, this is an over 12 inch perch. Here we go. Right there. 13, right at 13 inches. That is a big boy perch right there. We'll see if we can beat 13 inches during this trip. Again, guys, I'm only out there for like an hour and a half. So not a bad way <laughs> to start the trip at all. Just for fun, we'll measure this guy up too. 16 inches, yep, right there, boom. 16 inch rainbow. 20 inch rainbow, 13 inch perch. Not a lot of fish, but all quality. That's excellent. All right, here we go. We sit at, what's it gonna be? Right, right at three pounds. Awesome, beautiful three pound trout. All right, and just for fun, let's see how much a 13 inch perch weighs here. We are at, 1.09 pounds. 1.09 pounds. That's not bad at all. I'll take it. Man, it is just straight gorgeous out here. Excited to see the meat in this one. From the little glimpses I'm getting, I think it's gonna be awesome. Oh yeah, here we go. You guys ready for the big reveal? Bom, 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 bom. <laughs> Look at that. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm gonna cut these ribs out. So we can be as boneless as possible. There you go. There's one side. Boom. One more to go. Check that out, YouTube fam. That's not a bad pre-winter view right there. That's gorgeous. I'm getting some really gorgeous evenings when I'm out here camping. Beautiful scenery here in the mountains. Okay, so we got the fire going. I actually brought my own grill grate, but this campsite actually has one, so that's pretty convenient right there. We're gonna just throw that fish in some foil and just put it right over the fire on that grill grate. That's awesome. So we didn't get too crazy with the fish. I just squoze some lemon on it, put some olive oil on it, some salt, and a little Team Weber roasted garlic and herb seasoning. That's kind of a staple if you've watched my channel. So I wanna be able to just taste this trout though. I don't wanna to get too fancy uh, with tonight's meal. Plus, it's gotten a little bit dark out here already, so um, I don't wanna be slicing and dicing in the dark. Tomorrow we'll get a little fancier, but let's go ahead and get this over the fire and get cooking. All right, take a look at that. That's looking fantastic. I flipped it once or twice, but that's done. 
That's beautiful. Oh man, ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't get fresher than this. It's starting to get cold out. That right there is just killer, killer fresh. You really won't get fish any fresher than this, unless I were to chop it up right out on the kayak and eat it like sushi, maybe then, but I don't know if I'm, I'm feeling that bold. And I do a lot of bold things on my channel. Okay, so we have annihilated that trout. Now, the other day, I'm wandering through Walmart, which is something that I don't normally like to do, uh, but I found myself doing it on this day, and I came across something pretty foxy. Check this out. Zoink! It's like a fancy little tin of Swiss Miss hot chocolate. Like, look at that. And it was like five bucks, I mean, this thing's big. How in fact, 31 servings. We're going to make a little hot chocolate for dessert while we're out here. In fact, I put on a small pot of water, which appears to be boiling now. So let's go ahead and dump a little cocoa powder in there and let's get a little fire roasted, fresh, hot cocoa on a very cold night. Take our lid off here. Oh yeah, that water's plenty hot few scoops of the old cocoa powder. In fact, Swiss Miss, I mean, if you're looking to sponsor something, my channel's available. Just throwing that out there. I have never made hot chocolate over an open fire before. This is quite fun. Now, I like my hot chocolate creamy, so I went ahead and bought half and half, because that's normally what I pour into my hot chocolate in order to cool it down and add like a richer flavor to it. There we go. Ah. Oh yeah, that's delicious. In the words of Pippin, enjoying a few well-earned comforts. I'm chilling in my tent right now. In fact, guys, you guys have to check this out. I bought a little electric heater. Uh, I've got a tent flap open in the back, so it's got fresh air. It's pulling fresh air from outside. I've got uh, my vent flaps open on both sides of the tent. That way uh, the fresh air keeps circulating, but we bought a little electric heater because it's gonna be so cold tonight. I didn't wanna come out here and stay when it's supposed to be like 25 degrees tonight um, in just my camping stuff in a tent. So got the little electrical one rolling. So it's actually really, really cozy in this tent, even though it's freezing outside. So. I'm enjoying that. I think we're gonna go ahead and call it a day though and uh, get some sleep so we can get up early tomorrow and uh, hopefully get in on that bite. So, catch you guys in the morning. <laughs> Top of the morning, hi adventurers. That heater last night, awesome. Little heater ran beautifully it's about 7 30 in the morning man it's just dead calm out here it was uh it's 29 degrees right now but this little heater in this tent i'll bet it's 60 degrees in my tent that, that thing was awesome last night helped me get a good night of sleep for sure Whew, i really don't want to leave my tent especially when it's so nice in here but alas i am hungry and i need to make breakfast so we better get up throw some Throw some warm gear on though before we head out. Hmm. Wow. So everything's got a layer of frost on it this morning. Oh no! Not the sunglasses. Forgot I left these out here, but you can see there you go. Got frost on everything. Almost looks like it even snowed on the top of this. That's just frost, heavy layer of frost. So obviously the fire's dead. That's the first goal, we gotta get a fire going here. All right, got a nice fire going right there. That uh, feels good. So next, what I'm gonna be doing actually, is we're gonna go ahead and fillet this perch up. 
We have little perch and eggs for breakfast. I think it'll be pretty good. I've never eaten perch and eggs, so I guess we'll just find out. Fisherman's breakfast out on a camping trip. I think that's about the biggest fillet I've ever gotten off a perch before. That's awesome. Little stick of butter in there. Okay, that's a big stick of butter. Let's. I had a subscriber a while back. You guys have probably seen the video. Send me some Arizona dreaming seasoning. Let's see if my camera will zoom in. There we go. Penzi spices. I'll drizzle a little of that over our fish. That perch will cook pretty quickly, so we're gonna just toss our eggs in here as well. There we go. All right. Woo! Perch and eggs, anyone? This is the first time I've tried this combo. Let's say a quick prayer before we get our day started. Here we go. First time I've ever had this combo. I know perch is good, and I know eggs are good, but together. First we'll try them separate. Ooh. Perch is good per usual. Fresh mountain reservoir perch with free range chicken egg. I don't know, probably. The eggs were expensive. There better be a free range chicken for the price I paid for these eggs. That's a good combo. Mmm. All right, breakfast is at. The sun has decided to go ahead and join us, which we need because my kayak is still full of frost here. So as you can see, plenty of frost. I actually had to face the seat uh, towards the sun because it's all frosted, man. So we're gonna just slowly start to uh, move our stuff uh, down to the reservoir here and uh, kind of slowly start packing it that way so we can head out. Camp is tidied up. The boat is ready. The water looks gorgeous. Unbelievable. Yeah, we're definitely gonna be putting uh, everything in the cab of my truck tonight that belongs on the boat. So it doesn't get all frosted up. Cause I'm gonna have a wet took us now. There we go. There's the winner right there. Let's go pop some piggies. Oink, oink. We're in 13 feet of water. I got one rod sitting here in a rod holder, probably about two feet up off the bottom. I'm just gonna let him uh, kind of dead stick. I'm jigging this guy over here. So there's actually a chance we might go doubles. Fishing be slow. Fishing be really slow. You guys have had one bite this morning. Boring. Jig. Oh. Okay, this is dub. I need to move. Oh, there's a bite. Got him. Got one. Oh yeah, it's a nice perch. A nice perch. Where's the net? There's another tank. Another fatty perch. Finally! Come here, baby. Come here. Come here. Yes! All right, guys, here we go. Here we go. Oh, what a long morning it's been. But this is just another tank perch. Oh yeah, look at that. Just gobbled it up. That, that's a pretty fish right there. Ate that little jig up. I think these perch, there's just not really any structure out here. I think they're just probably just dotted along the bottom, but not, not really any, not really any schools. Um, I probably need to find some structure to find a school, but when you run into them, you're getting big perch like that right there. Sweet, let's get them on the stringer. Finally, came back to the spot we caught our fish yesterday. Once again, just in about 12 feet of water. 12 feet of water, got it done. Sweet, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. On the board. Got one, got one guys. Got him, finally. Let's look at these, oh, it's a big perch. Oh, this is a jumbo perch. This is another big perch. Just another fatty. Oh yeah, oh yeah. 
come here. Oh yeah! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, this might be the biggest one I've ever caught. I think it's even bigger than yesterday's. Wow, <laughs> look at that! Oh my word. That is the definition of a piggy perch. A piggy perch right there. Oh my word. That's awesome. That's worth waiting for right there. It's been a long, slow morning, but boy, when you pull up something like that, it's worth the wait. Give you guys a size comparison here. Take a look at the one I caught earlier this morning, about an hour ago. Look, look at the difference. And I thought, and this one's a nice size perch, but look at that. Are you kidding me? Whoa, woo. That might be a 14 inch perch. We'll measure them up when we get back. But just slamming. Slamming that little jig right there. That is awesome. So I was originally gonna stop and eat lunch, but I think this is what I'm gonna do. Since it's getting darker earlier, in fact, we're getting ready to do the whole daylight savings time mess. I don't wanna stop and cook because if I do that, it's gonna take like, I don't know, probably an hour, hour and 20 minutes of my day just to do that, to stop and cook everything up and get a fire going and all that good stuff. What I'm wanting to do is we're hitting some perch. You know, we've only caught two this morning. We've been fishing for like two and a half hours. Um, so I can keep doing this close to camp or what I'm gonna try doing is we're gonna throw a sub sandwich in the boat and then we're gonna head down about a mile and a half in the kayak and uh, see if we can't go down and find some stump fields and maybe we'll find more perch in there. It's worth a shot. We're gonna boogie on down there. I've got a long pedal ahead of me, not missing leg day with this boat, and uh, see if we can uh, score a few more fish uh, down where I think I know some stumps along this sandy bottom are. Okay, I lied when I said it was a small sub. It's a foot long. Italian Hero from Walmart. Finally, we're rolling up to our spot. Hopefully this pays off because we have traveled a fur piece. Now, right over here you guys kind of see it's like super flat and that's kind of what we've been fishing. But over here it's more like gravelly and there are a lot more like trees and stuff in the water. In fact, I see a stump way out there. Uh, that's a good hundred yards offshore. Hopefully this pays off because I'm also going to have to paddle all the way back. So hopefully we will have a stringer full of piggies to be determined. Okay, first impressions is I could see the bottom and that's not really great. Um, hopefully it'll get deeper. I gotta take a cast over by this stump though really quickly. The stump, that literally is coming up probably about eight feet because we're in six feet of water and that's two or three feet above the surface. If I could see like a bunch of bedding perch, that would be really cool, but alas, I do not. Look at that big old stump. Be some major bass and perch hanging out around that. That's what I wanted, but I was hoping it'd be in like 10 feet of water instead of in like five. I don't know guys, I'm starting to get a bad feeling about this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, to put it bluntly, I fail. Um, it is just weedy and shallow. Even the channel I'm showing on my sonar, just full of weeds and muck. Basically, we gambled and the gamble did not pay off. You gotta try and fail sometimes. Not everything is peaches and cream, roses and rosemary, rosy in the garden, sunshine and tulips, sunflowers and honeysuckles, whatever. I'm done. I'll catch you guys when we get down there. Well guys, it is evening time and nothing. I mean, I haven't caught a fish all afternoon all evening. I've had like one bite in the past five hours of fishing. I've been fishing my tail off too. I have been all up and down this bank and I don't, apparently I caught all of the fish yesterday and this morning that there are in this reservoir because I cannot just get a fish to breathe on my lure. I see no reason to tarry much longer. Oh, I'm getting a bite on this one, of course. Hold up. He's still nibbling. Oh, 
he was on there. He was on there. Seriously. There he is. Got him. There it is. Aye, another nice perch. Hallelujah. Okay, okay. Whoa. This guy is just giving me some a good fight. Look at this. Another fatty. Yeah. Wow. Zowie. It's not the biggest fish in the world, but it's more than I've caught literally in like five hours. Look at that. I mean, that's just that's just another chunky perch. That's just a really nice perch. I'll bet that's another 12 incher right there. So not as big as the pig, the second piggy we caught today, but he'll go on the stringer. Stringer him up. There we go. Nice. It's a big old stringer of perch right there. That's awesome. Turn our luck around this evening. All right, we went ahead and brought fishing rods in. We're gonna get back so we got plenty of light, get supper cooked up. Oh man, my legs are beat. I am ready to get out of the kayak. I've literally been sitting in here for like eight hours. All right guys, back at camp finally. Let's take a look at how big these perch are. Look at that fatty McFaddersville. Let's measure all of these. All right, the smallest one first. Look at that. Still a little a nose over 12 inches long for the smallest one. That's excellent. Second one is right at 12 and a half. 12 and a half inches. All right, and for the piggy, the piggy lines up at zero, right? Right there, all the way out to, oh, whoa. That's tickling 14 and a half inches. Wow, that's incredible. The only three fish of the day, but not bad as far as perch go. That's fantastic. That's a great haul. All right, set a pot right there. First, we're gonna start with a little Italian sausage. I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit in there. Let that cook down. I'm gonna go ahead and clean our perch next. Want a couple of nice perch fillets. That's gonna go right in the soup. Awesome, there's one filet. Okay, so I had to pause the cooking really quickly to show you guys this. But look at that. Look at that skyline. Isn't that gorgeous? That is my view for this evening. We've almost got a full moon. Almost a full moon. That is just beautiful. A lot of purple colors. That sure is pretty up here in the mountains. All right, now that our sausage is just about cooked down, I have a bowl of onions and potatoes. Just gonna dump all of those right in there like that. Stir it all together nicely. We'll go ahead and add some garlic powder, a little bit of salt, continue to mix. Next, we'll go ahead and add our perch that we've chopped up into bite-sized pieces. There we go. Next, for the broth, we're gonna add what every camper brings with him every time he goes camping, <laughs> chicken stock. We pour that right in. Now we'll go ahead and put the lid on and bring that to a boil. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and add a little half and half to add a little creaminess to the soup. And then the last ingredient, the only time you'll ever see me use, kale. Now some of you might recognize this recipe. This is actually kind of a knockoff of how Olive Garden makes Zuppa Toscana. Obviously, Olive Garden doesn't put uh, perch in it. And I've modified a couple things just to make it a little bit uh, camper friendly here. Get a little fresh cracked pepper in there as well. All right, check that out right there. Oh, that looks cooked to perfection. Let's give it a taste. Look at that. Nice steaming spoonful of Zupa to perch. Zupa Toscana perch. Oh, it's still hot. Oh. Ah. oh, that is so good. That is so good. Super simple. All you need to do is bring the entire refrigerator. But there you go. Zupa Toscana perch. Mmm. Well, all gone. Guess it's time to go to bed. I'll bet that doesn't lay heavy.
top of the morning, YouTube fam. Starting the morning off with a little hot chocolate. This morning's breakfast brought to you by Swiss Miss. Do you miss your Swiss? Well, get to your nearest Walmart to pick up the brand new Easy Grip canister of Swiss Miss today and miss your Swiss no longer. Swiss Miss, part of this complete and nutritious breakfast. Oh yeah, that's delicious. Let's get out there, let's get fishing. I'm ready to have, hopefully, a little bit of redemption from yesterday. All right, guys, it's been about an hour of very, very cold fishing this morning. I'm almost tempted to go to the other side over there. I'm just worried that it's gonna happen. You know, what we did yesterday is gonna happen. We paddle all the way down and then there's just nothing. Um, and then we just waste all that time, but not exactly crushing it here. So, you know what, we're gonna go for it. We're gonna, we're gonna risk it for the biscuit. It's such a weird saying, but we're gonna give it a try. I think we have to. I mean, it's not like we're crushing fish around here this morning. So we're gonna make a quick trip across the lake and see what it's like over there. So stay tuned. All right, Ooh, excuse me. Down she goes. Let's see if we can do any damage on this side. Guys, we just got a bite, just got a bite. Got him, got him. Wait, what is this? Oh, it's a trout, it's a trout. It's another big trout. Get the net, get the net, Terry. Oh my goodness. Come here, you. Okay, it's not massive. Okay, that's a nice one, yeah. Finally, hooray. That is sweet, right in the top of the lip. I'll bet that's another 16 incher. <sighs> Boom. I think I'm gonna let this one go. I already have a trout on ice and the two perch. And I really uh, 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 don't need, I don't need any more fish, really. That was more of just a fun catch. I'd rather have a perch. So, pretty fish. We'll let him slip slide away. Oh, hallelujah. It's been a long time since I got a fish, guys. Whew. Guys, guys, I just set my rod down. Do I? I got one. I got one. Oh, it's a perch. Oh, I just caught that big. Oh, okay, nice. That's another nice true perch. Check this out. Come here, baby. Yeah. Guys, I just set my rod down. My GoPro ran out of battery. And I set my rod down. I was putting the battery in, and all of a sudden, my rod started to jiggly wiggly. Look at that. That's another probably 12 and a half inch perch. Right, almost exactly right where I caught that trout. That is gorgeous, right on our little jiggity again. Oh man, that's awesome. Finally, finally getting in on some fish here. We'll put him on a stringer. There definitely doesn't seem to be much rhyme or reason to these fish. It's just, they're just kind of scattered throughout and you just gotta kind of run into them, bump into them, basically, it seems like. We just got another bite, guys. Got him. We got him. Yes. But this is another perch. Oh yeah, it's a fat, it's a fatty perch. A fatty perch. Come here, fatty perch. Yes, oh yeah, oh yeah. Check this out. This is the second biggest one. It won't beat the biggest one of yesterday, but this is another bruiser. Look at that. Look at that tank. Are you kidding me? Check that out. Oh my goodness. That's just another piggy. Another stringer worthy. That, that is excellent. That is excellent. We got a button on this one. Got him. Got him. Perch. Oh, another pig perch. Another piggy. Another piggy. Where's my net? There we go. 
Oh yeah. Oh right, yeah. Woo! Another tank. Just another big perch. Just another solid size. Look at that. Look at that right there. That's another probably 12, 12 and a half inch perch. That's gorgeous, gorgeous colors. It's a pretty one. I don't need him. I've got some fish at home already, so I think we're just gonna let him go. High Mountain Reservoir Perch. Beautiful colors on him. That's fun, that's fun. There you go, swim free. Well guys, our gamble paid off. Crossing to this side of the reservoir and being able to nail three perch and a trout all this morning. Phew, I needed that because I wasn't getting anything on that side. We're gonna go ahead and head on back and cook a few of these perch up over the fire. Do a little fire roasted perch for lunch. That sounds delicious and I'm hungry from all this paddling and skipping breakfast. <laughs> okay, so I was looking at my perch and I don't think I'm gonna eat all four of them, especially since I'm heading home today. So I think we're gonna go ahead and let one of them go. We're gonna go ahead and let the bigger guy go right here. We kept the bigger one from yesterday, but this is the big one from today. Um, we'll measure them up first. Let's measure them up, get her back in, let her reproduce, and so we can come back out here and keep catching more. Check it, we are right, right at 14 inches. Another 14 inch perch. Wow, what a fatty. Also, let's go ahead and weigh this big one up. I forgot to do it yesterday. Here we go. 1.44 pounds. That's a pig. 1.44, almost a pound and a half. That's awesome, definitely my personal best. Both good looking fish, but in the smaller one I found like this little Cinco. That's pretty crazy. And in the bigger one, check it out. A little, that's probably a baby perch right there. But that's why they, that's probably why he hit that little minnow because that's like exactly what he was feeding on or she was feeding on. So that's pretty cool. Find that in both those fish. All right, set both the fish in there just like so. Then we're gonna go ahead and season the body cavities of each perch with a little seafood Johnny seasoning. Subscriber sent to me. Thank you so much, I love this stuff. If you guys have tried it, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, you gotta go give it a try. Go ahead and put our tomatoes in here, along with our onion. Then I'm gonna go ahead and drizzle a little bit of olive oil over everything. Look at that wind, good grief, nuts. Then we'll add some seasoning on to all of the vegetables. Now we just put the top on. We'll set that over our flame and let it all cook. Turn this every few minutes. Make sure everything gets cooked on every all sides. I think this is about done. Let me look at the other side. Oh yeah, check this out. Look at that. Fire roasted perch. The last thing we're gonna do, take a little bit of lemon, just squeeze it over everything. Boom. And we're done. That's ready to eat. So I just peel the skin right off like that. Then we got all this meat right here. Look at that, big old piece of perch. Mm. Fire roasted yellow pepper. That's good. Mm. All right, that's really good. Got some fish, got some fire roasted tomato and some onion all in one bite. That's really good. Not a bad meal to end the trip. That's for sure. Mm. Woo! All loaded up. Oh my gosh. Guys, it is windy out there. I think the weather is telling me it's time to head home. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, I will see you in the next one.